Hey guys, Shibli182 here, and welcome to part 3 of my 30 Days of Horror Challenge. Um, more than likely, I'm going to also do the extra days, but for now I just want to quickly wrap up the 30 Days of Horror. Uh, and we left off on day 20, so we're going to pick up on day 21, which is, what is your favorite horror franchise? What is the best horror franchise? And I cannot say anything other than Halloween. I'm a diehard Halloween fan. Uh, from the first time I saw John Carpenter's Halloween when I was in grade 8, about 12 years old, um, I've been hooked. Uh, I love every single Halloween film. I don't hate any of them. There are some that are worse than others. The Resurrection, for example. Um, but I can't hate any of them just because it is Michael Myers killing people and stalking his way through a bunch of teenagers. Uh, the only one I have any complaints about is Resurrection, but I still don't hate it. So, uh, yeah. Best horror franchise has to be Halloween. Day 22, uh, best death scene. And I'm not picking this because of gore or because of it being the killer who was killing this person or whatever, I am strictly choosing this death on the circumstances that surround it. And it has to be Casey Becker from Scream, Drew Barrymore. To be home alone, stalked on the phone over the phone by some menacing guy, um, telling you he wants to see your insides, killing your boyfriend, gutting your boyfriend in front of you, um, then chasing you outside, stabbing you to death, ripping your intestines out, all while your parents are inside the house trying to find you, and then hearing this over the phone always struck me as just horrific and uh, brutal. Uh, it would be a horrible way to die, knowing that help is just around the corner. And could you imagine being the parents coming home and finding your house like that, only to pick up the phone to call 911 and hear your daughter being murdered on the other end of the phone? Um, so yeah, just for sheer... Just so for the circumstances that surround that death alone, uh, I have to say that's my favorite one. Just the acting there by Drew Barrymore is fantastic. Uh, the voice of the guy that does Ghostface voice, the whole the whole scene is is perfect. The first twelve minutes of Scream is amazing, and uh, that has to be my favorite death scene. Day twenty three, your favorite quote from a horror movie. Now this took me a long time, and I still ended up coming back to the Scream franchise. There's a lot of great lines out there. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Welcome to Prime Time, Bitch. Uh, bon Appetit, Bitch. And talk a bit of Wet Dream. Um, so Freddy Krueger is the master when it comes to one-liners and horror movies and stuff like that. So I didn't want to go that way because I figured that's probably what everyone else is going to do. Everyone else is going to choose something that Freddy Krueger said. And for me, it has to be Randy Meeks from Scream 2. Uh, Randy Meeks, played by Jamie Kennedy. There's one scene in Scream 2 where he is having his moment um, with Ghostface, talking to him on the phone or whatever, and he's asked the question, what's your favorite scary movie? And uh, his reaction is Showgirls, absolutely frightening. And I always loved that. It's the way Randy always was, joking in serious moments and uh, being the film geek. So that really stood out to me, and I always loved quoting that line. I've always loved that whole scene. You have the banter back and forth between Randy and Ghostface, and uh, it was top notch. And some of the one liners Randy has there are just great. But my favorite is Showgirls. Absolutely frightening. So, yeah. Day 24. Uh, horror character that best describes you. Holy shit, am I ever sweating right now, guys? It is fucking hot. It's like, fuck. Like 45 here today? That's Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Day 24, a horror character that best describes you, and you can ask my girlfriend this, she's going to tell you the same answer. That's Dexter Morgan. Uh, I know he's not really a horror character, he's more of a horror... It's, he's from a television show, but I consider Dexter a horror television show, uh, mainly anyway. It's a bit of serial killer, there's lots of gore, it's, it's horrifying. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Dexter Morgan has to be the horror character that I think is most like me. If I could be on the police force or CSI or blood splatter or forensic photography, anything like that, I'd be doing it. And every time something had crossed my way where a killer was going to get away or a rapist or, or anything like that, you know, I'd want to take it into my own hand, into my own hands. And uh, Dexter Morgan does that. And I think that's something we all have in us that when someone does something wrong, we wish for them to pay for that. Uh, but he makes them pay for that, and that's something I really, I, I, I know I have deep inside myself, and uh, a lot of other stuff he does too, a lot of traits, a lot of the Dark Passenger stuff and stuff like that really comes into my mind here, and makes me think that uh, I'm more like this guy than I think. I have a lot of the same traits as him, and uh, I'm going to stop there, because I'm going to sound like a psychopath soon. So yeah, Day 24, a horror movie character that describes you, I have to say, Dexter Morgan.
just looking here at my list. Day 25, favorite Christmas holiday horror movie. And I think this is going to be no surprise to anyone, but that has to be Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, love that movie. Absolutely love that movie. The sequels aren't the best. Part 2 sucked. I'm sorry, guys. I could not get through Part 2. Um, even 4 and 5 are just horrible. Uh, you know what? All the sequels are horrible, let's face it. But the original Silent Night, Deadly Night is kick-ass. I love the film. You, you feel bad for that guy. He's whole family gets murdered in front of him. He snaps on Christmas, dresses up like Santa, and decides to hack everybody up. I love it. I, I can never get enough of this movie, especially around the holiday season. So yeah, Silent Night, Deadly Night has to be my favorite Christmas slasher. Uh, day 26, a horror movie for a chicken. Um, I don't know how you guys are going to respond to this, but I cannot stand the grudge films. Zhuan, they're not scary. I hate little Japanese ghosts and they started it was you on and shit or the ring i don't know which came first but i can't stand either of them i don't find them scary and anyone who does needs to be taught a lesson in horror i'm gonna leave it at that so yeah day 26 a horror movie for a chicken the grudge my guilty pleasure horror movie day 27 guilty pleasure horror movie sleepaway camp the end man that's all i gotta say angela with her freaking wang hanging in the wind classic love it can never get enough of it. I will watch that movie so many times, so many more times before I die. It is great. It is a classic. I absolutely love it. A horror film that I'd like to see remade or rebooted. Now, this is only because I have to. If I had it my way, this film would never be touched. No film would be remade. No film would ever, unless it needs it. And this film doesn't need it because it's perfect in every way. But if I had to choose one out of all the films that I like that haven't been remade yet, this is the one, and that's The Burning. Absolutely love Cropsy. And another reason why I say Get Remade Rebooted is because I never think this film got the respect that the other slasher films of that time got, Friday the 13th, Halloween, uh, anything like that. And Cropsy should have had some sequels. He never got a sequel, and he should have. So, yeah, uh, a film I'd like to see remade or rebooted just because I want to see more of Cropsy, uh, The Burning. Day 29, the worst horror movie, and this is kind of right off uh, the wings of the grudge, but The Ring. I can't stand movies like that. They don't frighten me. They don't interest me. Can't get through them. Uh, they suck. And that's just my opinion. So, yeah, the worst horror movie, The Ring. Your favorite all-time horror movie? And I think you all already know the answer. John Carpenter's Halloween. Absolutely love it. Will always love it. Love it with a passion. Can't get enough of it. Michael Myers, you know, Halloween's my favorite horror franchise. Everything about that I love, and you guys know that, so I'm not going to sit here and blabble on about it. I'm just going to say my favorite horror movie of all time, John Carpenter's Halloween. So, yeah, that was my 30 Days of Horror. Um, don't mind me, I'm sweating to death here. I'm going to get the extra days up as soon as I possibly can. Uh, get some videos up here, get some more DVD reviews and stuff. Uh, go see some movies, maybe review, I saw Transformers 3 recently, um, but that was with my son, but I'm not going to review that on my channel, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not a Transformers fan, I'm not a Michael Bay fan, so you won't be hearing anything about that, <laughs> unless you ask me, then I might talk to you about it in a chat or something, but no, you won't be getting a review of it on my channel, so until uh, I see something new, or get the urge to review something new, because I feel like I've fucking reviewed everything. What haven't I reviewed? If you guys can find something I haven't reviewed, let me know, and I'll gladly uh, do a review on it. So yeah, until then, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it wasn't so boring. Uh, I am sweating to death right now. I'm going to eat some cheese. I like cheese. Mm. Look at this. I'm fucking soaked. So yeah, have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.